All right, you won't be able to see the sideboard because there's a big bug going around with the update where you can only see three cards from your sideboard. So unfortunately, it is what it is. Not much I can do. Check out the list in the description, though, uh, if you want to see the full list. But yeah, it is what it is for now. Um, either way, first deck I wanted to brew with is when I was looking at the cards in the set, we had Rakdos Joins Up. And Rakdos Joins Up is a reanimation spell that gives the creature plus two plus two when it comes back. And when a legendary creature dies, <laughs> you control dies, it deals damage equal to that creature's power to target opponent. And we have a creature that has 18 power. And with plus 2 plus 2, it's 20. So <laughs> if you manage to kill off your own Yargle, you get 20 damage to your opponent's face. And in some matchups where they don't have access to any exile, you can also just attack with it after sweeping or something and just connect. And then, you know, worst case scenario, they destroy it. But if they destroy it, they take the damage. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. Now, obviously, there are downsides to this kind of strategy. One is um, there are a lot of white decks. Actually, I wouldn't say a lot, but the white decks are incredibly good. And they're really good against this because they can play um, Get Lost, I think. Yeah, it's Get Lost, right? Two mana, Destroy Enchantment, which is kind of annoying. They also have some Exile. They have Sweeper, so you can't really connect. They have Wandering Emperor, potentially, so you can't really connect either. So you have to go for direct damage. But again, since they, they can interact with the Rakdos Joins Up, um, if you're trying to like go for the throw, then that won't really work out. Uh, one thing I want to mention is very quickly, you should probably be playing three glare in this deck at first. I thought it was bad because I thought they could react to the sacrifice by killing, by destroying the Rakdos joins up, but they can't do that. I forgot that when you sacrifice, uh, this effect goes on the stack immediately. So you can still get around people trying to interact with your Rakdos joins up by sacrificing your Yargle. So that is very important. And this card does destroy, it adds interaction to your deck, but it also allows you to sacrifice your Yargle for one mana, which is really good. Uh, the key thing to use in this deck is Tarion's Journal. Allows you to sack, um, it allows you to sack for free, basically, because you have a two mana artifact and it, sacrifice, it sacrifices, I don't know why I can't speak today, it sacrifices artifacts or creatures, I'm pretty tired, or creatures, sorcerer speed only, which is unfortunate, and you draw a card. So that allows you to sacrifice the blood tokens from these creatures, it allows you to sacrifice old Rutstein tokens. It allows you to sacrifice Brass Tunnel Grinder, which is a really cool card. And you get a bunch of card advantage. And then eventually you play Rakdos Joins Up, potentially on turn five, and you sacrifice your goal for 20 on that turn. The other side of this, the discard your hand and transform Tarion's Journal is pretty good. You can read it for yourself here. Just basically it allows you to reanimate creatures uh, one time from your graveyard, but you have to discard your entire hand. So still relevant, but not as good. Uh, the Tunnel Grinder allows you to have a card for three mana that is also an artifact that discards as many cards as you want, and you draw that many plus one. And at the beginning of your end step, if you descend it, you put a counter on it. If there's three counters, it transforms into this land, which allows you to discover if you pay the mana with this land. So that's pretty good. Uh, old Rustin, you know what it does, etc., etc. So there's not that much more to say about this deck. I will just say, I don't know where these um, two more glares are coming from. Probably go for the throats, but... Yeah, I will just say the deck is good, but again, the white decks are incredibly difficult. And that is the main problem is that every time you face a white deck, you're in a bad spot. There are some countermeasures to it. Again, like you can run a bunch of discard spells. I have like four duress and three lily, so it's still it's still winnable, but it's definitely pretty sketchy. And then once people start bringing in cards like Hearse and stuff like that, you have to play around that. But Hearse is not a problem by itself. It's just Hearse combined with the white decks, which creates a really, really annoying setup because you have to deal with the hearse, so you can't really, uh, you know, put this in the graveyard sometimes, but you can hard cast it. And if you hard cast it, they're gonna exile it. So it's just annoying. It's just nonstop annoyance, basically. You're not gonna connect with this and you can't really put it in the graveyard. So there's definitely a way to do it. I'm still figuring out the sideboard. I don't know if I'm actually gonna play more of this deck because there are a lot of decks I wanna explore and a lot of decks I find more fun than this, but this is really just something to check out and something to consider, if somebody manages to make the perfect version of this deck, it will be pretty oppressive. It will be pretty good, I think, because I think this beats Teamer in some scenarios because they cannot exile this. So if they can't kill you, you can just connect with your sweeper because they don't have creatures above three CMC, right? Or three toughness. You can connect and then that's 20. And then if they want to interact with this, they have to kill it, but then they lose the game, right? So it's pretty interesting. Uh, the question is, do you die before this connects once? And so that's the only question. Anyways, 
I'll leave you with that. Check out the sideboard in the description and uh, yeah, enjoy the gameplay. <laughs> okay. Fine. You know what's awkward is that I have too many untap lines early game. Maybe I have to cut a few. It is a bit awkward. Ole mole. Do 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 do. Damn, tunnel grinder is insane. <laughs> Man, it's probably just all in, right? Or I keep the land. No. Got to dig, dig deep. Three or more, man. Dig deep. Uh oh. What is that? I guess we'll find out in a second here after I finish this real quick. Okay. Oh, that's a... Shoot the sheriff. Destroy... What? Destroy target non outlaw creature? Isn't that kind of insane? Alright, I'm cutting a land. What the hell? <laughs> Actually, there's no way I can cut a land, right? In a 24 land deck. Like, come on, man. Ow. That's not an outlaw? No, it's a peasant! They're killing peasants now. I have to cast this now. Oh, God damn it. That's too annoying to not play this. Uh. This drone wall is very good. You know what's not good though? These lands, man. I'm dead. It's just, it's just so lucky. <laughs> like, whatever. How deep was I? Yeah, almost. Like, that's one third, right? And I've seen like one copy of Dragon War. Well, actually, no, two, right? Two Dragon Wars, one brass tunnel, like zero creatures. I could have kept the Brothers in, but I was just digging for lethal, basically. It was probably the correct decision. Sealed is not ranked. Don't think so.
I think in this matchup, I don't need glare. Yeah. Just play two, maybe. Yeah, that, that, that's that's the price you have to pay for playing a deck like this, where you need to find the right things. And now the 24 lands is going to act like 24 lands, and it's going to be a screw, right? Please. Spare me. I should have been no. I should play. I should play some graveyard interaction for the. No, it shouldn't matter again. I just win if I find it. I find it. It's over. Worst case, I can hard cast it. But again, like I just have to make it there. This is one of my better matchups. So if I lose this, I'm gonna be very sad. Because uh, I want to face exactly a Rakdos deck. <laughs> No counter magic, can't interact with the graveyard that well. Well, their version. Some some versions can. Cavern, vampire. Yeah. They have to take the elder dragon war, right? Well, they have another one. Ugh, oh, so annoying. So annoying, man. The double bat openers are just backbreaking. <laughs> okay, no bat. What the? Duress? Do they have duress in hand? Oh, 100%. Like, there's no way they don't have duress in hand. At least they waste the land if they want to duress here. Okay, so they were gambling on me not finding the land. Three years of bat. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's that's rough. Oh, they did have dress. They, just, they were just missing land, so they went for the high roll. That makes sense. I actually agree with that. I think that's correct for them, most likely. I have to, I I don't know. This is so cringe. play that. Wait, can I just do nothing? Oh no, I have to discard, right? Oh wait, yeah, wait. Does anybody know what happens if I do this and I don't discard? I draw a card, right? If I draw a card, I should have played it. I didn't quite realize I would do that. I mean, it says discard any number, which could be zero. And then I draw zero plus one, right? So, yeah, I, I've just never played with this, so I just assumed I assumed it wouldn't work, but it does, I think. Yeah, unfortunate. Still fine though, kind of. It's annoying. At least they have to like use up that land and waste the next spell, I guess. Do I even bother keeping this? Probably. Yeah, I have to keep it. I'm just going to kill that, I think. I'll let them play out their turn first. Is the discover ever useful for me? I I would say probably yes. I can't believe they get. To... I did not expect them to play that. That's my fault. I would have killed it on my. <laughs> I would have killed it on my turn if I knew. <laughs> it's fine. I might have to reanimate. 
Oh, never mind. Good. I think the deck kind of works. Kinda. But I have still not found the Yargle a single time. <laughs> I was I'm 20 cards in again. I'm cycling fast. I'm on my bicycle right now. How much more distance do I have to, to cover? Ugh. The red scene's pretty, pretty cool here. So what's new in this deck? I'm not seeing the spice here. Where's the spice? Shoot the sheriff, it's not spicy. <laughs> okay, there's the land. So they can activate the vets if they want to. They didn't do it. Wow, nice. That's really good for me. Minus one card. Come on. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. The sideboard bug is terrible. It's horrendous. It's like... It, it's like one of the worst things I've ever done, I think. <laughs> the sideboard bug is crazy. I mean, it's, like, it's not like I have no card advantage, right? Like, there's got to be a, a point where I draw at least, you know, like a journal. Oh, there we go. This is going to transform. <laughs> okay, I can cast this and, like, do random stuff, I guess. Oh. I'm just kill that. Probably should. I don't need the treasure. I'm gonna have an extra land as well. You're not big on complaining about the client? Well, I am. Well, I am. Alright, surely it's time, right? This is gonna mill Yargle. Watch it. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Give me that. Yeah. Draw a card. Actually, I forgot you could draw with that. That's actually cool. That is pretty sick. 3-3. Three, three. Journal is actually a good card. I did not expect it to do as much as it's doing right now. Like, every game it feels like it's doing draw an extra card every turn. Which is very good. Very good. <laughs> the fact that I have not seen a single copy of Yargle is triggering me a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's been 40-something cards, right? At least. If I go this game without finding it, I'm going to be so pissed, because... Oh. Well, there it is, but... Now we got to survive, and we're in the draw. Alright, let's see what can happen here. So, probably... It's probably events always, right? I have the green already. My hand is good. I will say that. My hand is definitely good. Yeah, I'm really happy to not see NT on that turn. No duress as well. Brass Tunnel is really good here. I'm kind of afraid of graveyard interaction though. I hope they don't find it. Oof, that's annoying. Gonna have to interact with that. They don't have much life gain, right? I could probably... I could chump lock. Probably should. Do I ditch the Yargle now? Maybe. Hmm, that's annoying. I'll have to ditch him. Okay, I have... 
three more Brotherhood's End and three more Elder Dragon War. So even if they take Brotherhood's End, it's kind of fine. Them being stuck on three is very good for me, obviously. Well, if they are stuck on three, which they might not be. I should ditch Cargill now. I need the opportunity to find, you know, Brotherhood's End or whatever the hell before they find another bat or something. It's decent. That is, this is kind of interesting. I feel like I have to do this. I don't know why I would keep one mana open, but uh, I don't know. That's a tough one, actually. I don't know. Maybe it was not correct. Maybe it was just because, like, if I don't find a land there, I'm so screwed. Okay, that is very annoying. I still have Dragon War. Bunch of stuff. You can hard cast. But to hard cast, I first have to. It's gonna be a while, yeah. It's gonna be a while. That's good. Okay, so. We're moving, we're moving. As long as this stays in my hand, I'm in a good spot, because then I can just clear out this thing and then just clear that out later. I have another yard goal, so we're kind of good. As long as Rutstein stays in play, it's also really good for me. That's good. Uh, okay, if they find another bat or a duress, I'm... It's done, but... It is what it is, right? Okay, nice. Awesome. That would have been a good one, but... This is good. This is very good. I have the tunnel grinder pop in. So worst case, I could just hard cast. I do want to keep the blood token, right? But I'm going to get another one. I should probably draw. Maximize the journal. I'm going to hard cast, I think. Probably. Maybe. Not sure, actually. I don't know. Tunnels out. Tunnels out. Actually, tunnels really good in my deck. I have a lot of, like, different mana costs that are good. If I do this, it's going to destroy my journal, which is kind of cringe, but we'll see. I mean, I have to do it. But I can pop the journal first, I guess. Well, the thing is, when am I... Uh, yeah, if I'm planning on hard casting, this is correct, then. I'm just gonna... I might hard cast. Not now, but soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow, synergy. <laughs> you can just kill that and save my... Kind of down. Get shield red later. It's actually funny, the tomb the tomb side is actually kind of good too, eventually. Journal has been so good. <laughs> Alright, so they're going to react with an activation, and I'll react by discarding probably, or not. No, I can wait, I can wait. Yeah, I can wait. Wait, oh no, wait, and I should do it. No, I, sh I have to do it, actually. Because then I, otherwise I lose my token, right? I have another one. I've got another one. <laughs> okay. 
All right, now they really have to interact with my graveyard. Oh, they're going to lose. Please don't concede. Please. Rutstein has been an absolute powerhouse, as I expected. I probably do need, like, an Abrade or a creature that can en enter the battlefield, destroy hers or something. Oh, wait, now I can't sack it because I lost my journal. Oh, no, they're going to concede. They're going to concede. Oh, wait, I can kill it with Gopher Throw. I didn't even consider that. I need one mana. Oh, no. Wait, that's fine, right? Hey, wait, no, I, I have the mana. We're good, we're good. Don't concede, please, please. Please. I don't care. No, I don't give a shit. Just stop. Why did I cast that? I don't know. <laughs> that, that is funny as hell. Okay, I can't believe I got it. First match. Oh man, it was a struggle to find that though. That is funny as hell. <laughs> that was one of the best matchups I could have hit too. It's probably the most important card in the deck. Other than the combo. Because it it's cheap and it comes and it comes down and it draws me a card. On top of it, so it replaces itself. Nothing else does that almost. For three. Another ramp deck. Uh, it's like worst matchup after worst matchup. <laughs> it's so annoying. At least I have the combo, so I don't have to dig for it at least, but. Let's see. I don't really care about that. I'm scared about how like angels. <laughs> I'm scared about angels. And that. Now I have four go for the throat and I have another removal spell, so. Maybe it's fine. I have the good thing about this now is I have Lily, and I think Lily's gonna help me a ton. I have to like choke them out of cards quickly. Do I go for one just to get damage here? I guess I don't need to get... To, well, what if they interact with it? I mean, what? why would they do that, though? They have no incentive to interact with this. That's nah, probably plus. Oh, shit. I forgot to attack first. Well, whatever. Yeah, that was pointless then. I should have attacked first. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Well, at least I didn't discard that. So, yeah, I would have I discarded it. Should have discarded it. And? Okay. Alright, we're close. We're close. Very close. I need two more mana. Okay, wow. Well. Surprising, actually. Now I get more damage. Okay, once I... That is very bad, actually. I have the glare. I mean, I kind of have everything here. They already played one binding. Just wait now, right? Of course they have that. I might have to slam it, whatever. I can still find a land next turn, but... Just wanted to get damage in when I could. Wow, yeah, I was I was actually... We mentioned that earlier, that this might see plane ramp. If they get lucky, it's over.
That's fine, I guess. Makes things a little bit easier, potentially. Or maybe not. I mean, it's, it's the same. It's not instant. I wish it was instant. I do not care about the tunnel grinder. I'm just going to draw. Got to find a go for the throat and a land. The fact that I'm killing them with a the dragon is pretty funny. I guess technically I don't really care though. I think I need to play interaction main deck for enchantments. That would help me a lot. I wish I'd just tap out here. They do, I win, but probably not gonna happen. Probably means I have to wait. I can't pull the trigger just yet. Okay, that's minus one. I kind of want to draw the channels. I could do it. It's not like, it's not ridiculous to just go for it here. They already used one of these. They already used the binding. If they when they play a track set, they're gonna find another one, right? The problem is it's in reaction to me sacrificing, which is oh no wait no they wait actually do they even have an opportunity to interact with this? Wait a minute, maybe maybe I was just wrong. Oh no, they they can when I'm reanimating it, but they can't interact with me sacrificing it. It goes on the stack immediately, right? Yeah, okay, 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 never mind. It's not as bad as I thought. Because then I don't have to sack the... I don't have to sack it if they don't interact with it. Before I get the, the Yargle on the field, right? So... Okay, that makes Glare much better. Okay, so we, I just, like, mind fuck myself, basically. <laughs> I should have never taken out the Glares then. The only reason I took them out is because I thought I needed instant speed interaction. So I should go back to, like, three Glare and try to find a find room for that. Okay, it's much more difficult to interact with than I thought. Still doesn't make it any easier, though, post board. I think the Rudstein is probably pretty bad. Like, it's fine, but it's not as good as just tunneling. I don't think I need Glare as much, because I'm going to have Lily. Minus one aim. Probably Epicure. Lily gives them the window. Yeah, but post board doesn't matter as much. I've I have interaction, so and I'll, I'm not gonna board in just for one glare. I mean, maybe it's worth over to go for the throat. Without red scenes, a little bit sketchier. Most of the time, they won't have the binding in hand because I actually have, you know, I'm going to be discarding with Lily. I'm going to be discarding with Duress, hopefully. And then by that point, I should be okay. Eh. Playable. Oh, that's good.
I have to take the ramp. It's just like it's insta GG if they play that, I think. That's the problem with the ramp. You have to take like everything. <laughs> oh. oh. What if I could? What if I could take everything? I don't really care if they use the binding on that. And they would have to skip their stomper turn, so it's not not happening, right? Problem is if they top deck, then I don't have an option because I don't have double black. That is a bit weird. Or I could get double black. So annoying, man. <laughs> like, like, imagine I just lose the game there. That's a good one. Kinda. I'm still in trouble, but basically, if I don't find Lily, it's it's actually hard. It's hard without Lily. I really need it. I need Lily. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, they know they know they have to save for Rakdos, I guess, or not. I could just pop this. It's not horrible. No, it is horrible. I have the mana and I have the... I'm just going to hardcast it. I think the journal is maybe deceptively good. Um, for its second ability, actually. Maybe. I think this is legitimate. Like, the... But like... There might be a better way to leverage that. I might have to play like other creatures that are good. Because then I can just push into Lady Aim and just, you know, play like a Tally or something or maybe a Tally, yeah. Having more targets that are not reliant on, ugh. Eh. Not too bad, actually, because I'm just going to hard cast anyways, so it's not like it's that bad. Even if they can interact with it, it's not horrible. It's in these situations where I wish I had something else, though. I think swinging is probably correct. It removes one of their blockers if they want to attack with the Archangel, and they can't block with the Stomper, and they can't block with the Murex token as well. So much interaction, what the hell? It is what it is. Oh, that is so lucky that they found that on that turn. I guess they could have found it. No, last turn they would not have been able to play it with their Archangel. Ugh. Oh no, this is... Yeah, you know what? Not that bad. It's just annoying because of Murex, but... Oh, their hand is insane. Holy shit. I might as well concede here. Maybe not. I don't know. No, it's over. That was just so lucky. Like, they had to find exactly Duress, plus they have another Binding, and they had the Archangel before that. So they had... At no point did they have cards they couldn't cast. Which can happen. And the, this top deck was kind of crazy because I had to take it over the Binding, and then... It just spiraled. Just spiraled. I'm um, maybe it's correct to bait them with the forge. At least they'd have to interact with it. I'm on the play too, I might as well. It's in this matchup where I would rather have a different creature than Yargle. So I should have maybe a sideboard plan prepped for like for this situation. I don't know.
I guess I still had like tear or something, but eh. Uh, Alright, this is good. Just gonna curve it. Yeah, tempo's better. Higher tempo. More damage early. More damage early, really important. The sorcery aspect is very painful for this card. It's fine. If they hit me with the lockdown, it's over, but... Uh, there's so many things that are hard to deal with. <laughs> very hard. I guess I can remove it. Yeah, that's why I need enchantment interactions, mostly for lockdown, I guess. I wish I had another creature to revive. I needed like a, is there like a three drop legendary, a Galissa or something? I don't know. Tempo is pretty high here. I could even, I could make the four four. It's probably not correct. Ah, it's 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 very interesting to make the four four here, but then my hand is trash. It's super interesting, but even if that one point of interaction, it's it's not worth it. So, I'm gonna discard both the Rakdos joins up. I think it's just too awkward here. This is not much better, but at least I have this. Yeah, I played Hearthstone, yeah. Did I not change the title? Oh, I, oh yeah, I didn't. I don't care. I need to find a post board. Maybe I play a post board game plan that just hard casts your goal and just goes fast. I don't know, maybe. I wish I'd untap line and could attack with events. I gotta take Sunfall and then we're maybe okay. <sighs> it's kind of annoying. Too high HP still. I could have attacked with Vence if I drew for well no, because then I can't attack with the one one, it's not worth it. This has let me down a few times. This is gonna be one of those times. Don't they have to play the angel here? Two turns to buy myself until Traxa and then we're kinda screwed. Man, I wish this was a, if this was instant speed. <laughs> oh boy, it's so good. I guess I can get rid of this with the. Should I get rid of it? Or do I get rid of journal? I mean, journal could be useful if they try to take it away, but... I guess in this situation, I'd probably keep the Rakdos. 
How long is it gonna- no, it's not correct. It's impossible. Like, I'm not gonna find the interaction for it. Somewhat useful, depends. I can construct this deck to be less of a combo-y deck and more of a mid-range deck, and that might be better. That might be better, because then I would have way more interaction for, like, Hearse and Beanstalk. We still got there, but... You have to, like... I'd have to, like, put pressure on my opponent a little bit more, so maybe i just lead more into, like, the mid-range, like, Preacher or um, the 3-4. That could bait out more interaction early as well. We'll see. I think the 3-4 is interesting, because it has good synergy with the... Um, with the artifact, the two-mana artifact, the book. We can like start sacking map tokens. 